today. Today, I am from Lenovo. My name is Michael Poor. I've been working for Lenovo for about five years doing global business development. Now, today, you guys have seen some amazing stuff going on, especially from Facebook, ending with something like augmented reality kind of deal. And we just saw some whole idea related to things that will change the future and how we will look at media. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you something that's a little different. I'm going to try to beef it up a little bit by bringing a technology to you guys that we created, not just by ourselves, but partnering with Google. Now, how did that happen? Basically, Lenovo has been probably one of the most innovative companies in the world in the PC area. We've been number one for the last few years, and we have continued to grow, even though the market has been declining a little bit. Saying that, Google has been the number one software maker in the world. Almost every phone that you see out in the market today will have some form of Google Android in it or so. So that makes it very clear. We have Lenovo, the number one PC maker, Google, the number one software maker, come together to bring you what we call Project Tango. Now what is Project Tango? I'm going to bring up a little video to show you guys. I'll walk you through the video a little bit. And then I'll give you guys a little bit of briefing how we came together to create this technology. And then, I will show you a little bit of demonstration on how this technology actually works. So let me get started real quick with a little video. Where's my sound? So basically, this gentleman is talking a little bit about Project Tango and what it really is. So Project Tango is basically giving eyes to your device. Imagine that. Your eyes now will understand where it is located in the world. So just like you and me, when we're walking through the streets, for example here, you can see what's happening in the stores where we can actually change the way we manage different information that we put out into the market. And that's the difference between what we talk about augmented reality and how reality is changing. So how does it work? Basically, we take a product with a bunch of cameras in the back, with a couple of sensors back there, and bring it so that this technology with the software behind from Google allows us to really understand really where we are in the world in our device. We can do a lot of things with it. So let me give you a couple examples real quick. This next demo is about a person going into a bike shop, trying to pick out a bike they want, but they don't see anything they're interested in. So what can you do with this technology? Basically, you can walk into there, Pick up a tablet from the counter, scan up for the virtual reality technology we have, and you actually can create your own bike. So basically, you can walk up there and you can say, okay, this is the bike that I want, but it's not quite the color that I need. You can pick that bike up, pop it into the side, and this is actually full size. As you can see, there's a big space there. That space is required because it's an actual size of the bike that you're looking for. This is the difference. We're bringing virtual reality into our reality. That is the way of the future. And that's what we're working on. So basically, you can see here, you can pick any aspect of the bike you want to change. You can change the frame, you can change the bars, you can change the tires, you can change the pedals, anything you want. And once you finish with that changing, you take a look at the bike and it looks like what you want, you can basically say, okay, I like this bike. You push a button, you're done. A week later, you can pick up that bike and take it home. This is a different way we're looking at how it's going to change the way we shop, the way we do things. But what else can we do with this technology? But let me, before I go that far, let me show you what it really does. In this next video, just gives you kind of a simple idea of what Tango really is. So imagine you walk into your room and you're able to label, put labels out into the room. Very simple. These labels are just standard labels. Now this is in your own room. You scan this room yourself. But by doing so, you can actually walk around the label. You can walk sideways, look under, look over. This is the idea of what Tango is. We're bringing augmented reality into our own reality. And this is what we're bringing to the world this coming year. So by holiday season of this year, we will bring this technology out into the market. So, I'm excited to really drive to work with Google to put this together. So one of the key things that I want to discuss today is how are we going to really use this? What is the key aspect areas that we really want to use this? 
So let me close this and let me open up a couple of things to just to share with you guys on our logic and our ideas on where we want Tango to go. So a lot, of, a lot of ideas come about in terms of how are we really going to use Tango. So one of the key things is location. Right now with Google Maps, you guys can actually walk from one point to another by picking up Google Maps and then you can tell you exactly how to get there. But for example, if you go to Las Vegas, you, you go into a restaurant, let's say the Mirage. That's where your friends are hanging out, but how do you get there? You don't know how to get there. So basically now we have what we call indoor navigation, location. With this technology, you can actually walk step by step, as you can see there, and it will walk you through the whole of the hotel to find your restaurant. The second portion of it is gaming. We will change the way that people play games because now kids today, when they're playing games, they sit there doing this all day long. With this technology, that's not going to happen anymore. That kid's got to get out of there, and he's going to be moving with the location where he is. This is the idea of bringing augmented reality into our reality. It's different than how we're playing today. And finally, utilities, just like you see earlier in the video, where people are changing the way bikes are set up and things of this nature. But imagine if you're walking into a store, and you have your device in your hand, and you already scan your room that is pretty much empty and you want to put furniture in there. You can basically add any furniture into that room and you'll know it'll fit. You can measure distances using your device. This is where we want to go in the future, where we can actually use the device on our daily lives to better how we do things that we haven't done before. Okay? So for example, the first part is like location. The whole idea of location right now is basically you just follow voices on the screen and you just follow little maps that's on the screen. But with Tango, it's a little bit different. If you actually have your device in your hand, you can literally follow dots on the floor that walk you directly to, to your location. This is amazing in terms of, for example, you're going to the Louvre in Paris. You can actually walk into the Louvre and know exactly where all of the pictures and frames are. And you can actually pick, let's say I want to go see the Mona Lisa. You click on the Mona Lisa, it'll walk you to the Mona Lisa. When you get there, a little button starts to pop up, and you say, whoa, what's all this about? You push a button, and it basically explains to you the history of the Mona Lisa, who created it, and how it came to be. These are the things that we can actually create using this technology. You guys are all developers and in this room and a lot of um, media as well, but mostly developers, we'd love to work with you guys in terms of developing certain software in this area, as well as using this technology into other areas that you're looking for. So let's take a look at a couple of things that you can do in stores. So for example, if you're a shop that sells products, and you want to show a sale, normally you would walk around and you put tags out all over your stores. Imagine if someone walks into your store, you hand them a device. Now when they hold that device up, all these things lights up and tells you, hey, this is on sale. Hey, that is on sale. Hey, you can buy one of these and get an extra one for free. This is how shopping in the future should look because it makes it very easy for a mother to come into a store and pick out all the things that she's looking for. As well as for the children, in this store, you want to go shopping along, it's kind of boring. Imagine that bringing Star Wars games into the aisles of these stores. So kids will be able to play the real game using the actual reality of these locations. And that's the whole purpose of and ideas of Tango. So here again, a couple of the ideas on 3D gaming. This is gonna change how 3D games. Today when we're playing games, for example, for augmented reality, we wear these goggles, bring us into a virtual world. With this technology, we're gonna change that. We're going to bring that virtual world into our world. So right now, everything is in that world, in this goggle world. We're going to change it. We bring in everything out. And this is what I'm going to show you guys in just a little bit, how that works. Um, a couple other things is utility. This is a very fun part because you can do things with this like measurement. I'm going to also give you guys a little bit of measurement uh, demonstration in just a little bit. 
But these are the things that we can change. For example, I can put a couch on this area right here using this technology that I can see. Okay, is it going to fit? Sure. With my technology, I can put that there to show you that it actually fits. And this is the whole purpose of Tango. How do we lay out the future of shopping, navigation, and gaming? Frames. You can actually label certain specific areas to see the size that you need. If you want to go buy a picture frame, walk into the store to see if that picture actually will fit in the location you're looking at. Okay? So let me go through this real quick, and I'm going to do a little demonstration because it's more fun to actually demonstrate than it is to show you pictures of it. So what I have here in my hand is just a test kit device. Our actual products that's launching at, in this uh, holiday season is not this. But I can only tell you that we want to get it into everyone's hands. So the price point that we're looking at is under 500 US dollars. For this, so for this technology that's coming out this holiday. But one of the key things I want to share with you guys is that when that technology actually comes out, I want everyone to really take a look at it. So downstairs, we have a Lenovo store here in Bulgaria downstairs, where we actually invite you guys to come and put yourself on a wish list. In this wish list, you basically, we will get discount prices when that product actually launches here in Bulgaria. Secondly, before I go on to the demonstration, I have another show downstairs in the theater. I will do that show in about an hour from now, and basically you guys will be able to come up and talk to me and ask me any question. And then, you can handle this device and play with it so that you can actually feel what it is to be in that augmented reality. So let me plug this in real quick, and then I want to show you guys a little bit of how this technology works. Well, while he's going to go and fetch a cable for me, um, let me share with you guys a little bit about my experience with Lenovo. One of the things about working with Lenovo has been kind of amazing for me because Lenovo is actually one of the world's largest innovators in the world because of things that we've made in the past few years. When I started there, they made the first what they call yoga computer. And I was like, what is a yoga? I mean, yoga, I understand what it is. You know, my wife does it every now and then. It looks kind of weird. So, so then they, they brought up this computer to me, and it's the first computer that actually flips 360. I'm like, that is pretty cool. That is pretty different. No one actually does that before. They coined the phrase multi-mode, and I thought, OK, that's going a little too far. But yeah, we, we could do that. So they came out with a yoga computer, and I thought, OK, great. We sold a bunch of them, and it was great. And then my team, who makes tablets and, and mobile devices, came up with a technology called Yoga tablet. And I thought, now we're just going way too far. You guys got a yoga computer, now you're just making up names for other products. And actually, it was a pretty cool product. This product has a built in stand that you can flip a button and the stand pops out, and you can have it in multi mode. You can sit it, you can, you can actually do things that no other device has done before. And then what they did was they put a projector to this device. So it became one of the first devices that actually has a projector built into it. So the 10-inch tablet with a projector and a crazy sound system. And I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. And then later on, they came, we bought Motorola, or we merged with Motorola, and they came up with a phone that you can throw on the floor and it doesn't break. And I was like, OK, that's going way too far. So we made this phone that you can actually throw on the floor and it doesn't shatter, a shatterproof phone. So for the last five years, Lenovo continually to amaze me on the technology that we bring out. So it, does, it doesn't surprise me anymore that we partnered with Google to bring you the Tango technology. So I'm really happy to really share this with you on what Tango can really do. It's okay? So basically, imagine that we have this device in our hand, very simple device. You could, it could be your phone, it could be a tablet that's out there on the market. And you can actually do certain things. It's OK? Oh, OK, I got to be very careful. All right. Not a problem. <laughs> OK, um, usually I need two hands for this. 
<laughs> but let me try, okay? Let me start. Okay, I'll try. So basically, this is a simple demonstration on Tango. As you can see here, I have a cute little cat that's on the floor. You guys could, uh, you guys can see it. But the cool thing about this cat is it actually recognizes height, distance, and length. I could walk towards the cat, not so far, because this cable is not working. But I actually can walk towards the cat, and it'll recognize that I'm close to it. And I can see behind the cat, and it sees that there's a table there, so it jumps on the table. I can tell it to get on the chair, and it can walk to the chair and jump on the chair. Okay, but some people don't like cats, I understand, so I have a dog as well. So here's, <laughs> so here's a cute little puppy. Oh no! Come on, how do you, chill, you guys are hurting me here. Well, you guys definitely need to come downstairs and, uh, and visit me there because I will have this demo for you with a better uh, connector so that you can actually play with it all day long. Now, if that, if that dog is too small, I got a bigger one for you. There you go, that's a bigger dog. Can you see that one? So the whole idea is that this animal here on screen is a virtual animal that's brought into our space. And that's what Tango really means, bringing the virtual world into our world. Now finally, I'll show you a couple more demos in terms of gaming and, and, and measurement tools. So say bye-bye, doggy. So the next demo, real quick, is kind of a gaming. Now we can still do what we call augmented reality games. Basically, some people still like to see the actual augmented reality portion of their of gaming, especially for young children in some areas. So this one is just a demonstration, but the difference is, the difference is, even though this is an augmented reality game, I actually have to move within my space to play this game. I'm not sitting down on a chair with two fingers on a joystick. I'm up and I am moving. And I'm spinning, I can look up, I can look down, I can look sideways, I can go all the way full 360 circle. This will change the way that kids play games today. I mean, kids today, all they do is drinking milk, eating cop, uh, eating cookies, and sitting on the chair playing games. They gotta get off their little t-shirt and run around the room to play with each other on this one. This is, this is a lot more fun than just sitting down. So this is one area that we know will change. I'm gonna kill that robot first, thank you. <laughs> but lastly, I wanna share with you guys the next portion of it, which is basically measurement. Things that we can actually use, like a mom and dad can use at home. We wanna buy things, we wanna measure things, we wanna do things of that nature. Now guys, you know, I like to buy those measurement tools and I have about five or six of them and my wife says, you're spending way too much money on things you don't use. Okay, I don't use it, but they just look cool. So with this one, I can actually have a cool toy and I can actually do all the stuff that, that the measurement tool can do as well. If I can get this to show up on the screen, it would be wonderful. Let's see, we got 10, okay, here we go. So with this tool, I can do things like measuring the distance Measuring the height, measuring stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. So for example, we have a chair here sitting over here. I can actually come to, not really well, to the side of this chair and put a little button there and go to the other side of the chair and put a button there. Oh, you want to try this? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just, oh, man. That looks super, isn't it? We're measuring something. <laughs> let me try that again. <laughs> so basically, let me, let me just try to measure something like this. I'll put a little mark here in this corner. Let me get that mark on there. 
no depth detected, which means the sensor here in this room is not working. <laughs> we have great technology, thank you. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, let me try that again. It's hard to do with one hand holding this thing and then trying to get the other hand working right. Here we go, let's see. Can we do that one? Oh, signal's gone. There we go. No, it's not doing it. Oh, I got a dot on there. Can you get this one too? No, not gonna happen. This, 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 oops. I'm breaking their machine. Give me a second, let me try that again. Oh, well, there you go. It's supposed to look like that. <laughs> and basically from there to there is about five feet, which is probably not accurate because we're not really doing the right function. So basically the idea is, with this technology, if you guys can see it on the screen, it looks great on mine, um, you, can, you can see we can actually measure different things with it. So, Again, please come downstairs in the theater and come and visit me. I can give you guys more details on the technology. You can actually play with it yourself. Um, thank you for having me here. And Sophia, it's my first time and I'm loving it. Thank you guys, thank you.